So we're going to start off with the green thread. So take that and find a point which is about uh, a third of the way along the thread and form a loop like that. Slip the loop through the ring, pull it round the back and pull it tight. And now find the shorter piece of that green thread and pop the needle on it. So taking that short end that you've threaded onto the needle, we're going to work a blanket stitch around the ring, pulling it tight as you go so you keep it nice and neat. And I like to pull this slightly to the back of the ring as I go. So you probably find as you do that, you build up a bit of twist in your thread. So just let that go by the needle dangle and you'll just find it untwists. Carry on with that until either the thread you're working with is about to run out as you will see here or you've got uh, just a little gap which is about a third of an inch or three quarters of a centimetre um, something like that. So I suggest you just pause the video here carry on working your way around the ring until it's almost covered and then switch it back on again. One of the things that you might want to do is just check that your stitches are tight enough just by if you push them back around the ring you might find that you can squeeze a few extra stitches in there just so that you don't end up uh, with a baggy edge on your final uh, dorset posy. So just do that, just check, check they're nicely squeezed up and um, if you've got enough thread on, on the short end fill another gap. Uh, if not don't worry we're going to switch to the other end. Okay so now with the uh, needle on the long end of the thread I'm just going to turn this over and one of the things you just want to check is it doesn't matter if you've got a bit of a wiggle in this ridge here but you must check that it isn't twisted around the ring you must be able to see it all the way round on the same side so what we're going to do now is we're going to work over that end um, let me just do that again so what we're going to do is we're going to work over that end and that'll just anchor it in place so if you can hold that in place with your fingers and we're going to start working round this way but this time we're going to work forwards and the reason we're do doing that is just to keep that ridge going in the same direction so I find it a bit more fiddly doing these bits especially when I've got a camera in the way but it's just this short little length here keeping it tight as you go and just making sure that you're keeping that ridge on the same side and here's another way of uh, just working that blanket stitch backwards just keeping it tight as you go along. So carry on until that gap is filled and you can't work any more stitches in. I think I can just get a few extra in there so I'm going to do that just to make sure I have a nice tight um, edge on this. and I'm just going to go for one more in there so there we go that's nice nicely covered you've got the ridge all showing on the back side of the ring and there's the end that you worked over to hold it in place so we're just going to trim that end off 
Now be careful you don't snip any of your blanket stitching. You want to catch here the loose end but without snipping any stitching. So do make sure before you snip that it is the short end of the thread that you're snipping off. Don't snip off the long end because we're going to be using that and uh, it's going to start to unravel. So snip the short end. Now that we've covered the rings we just want to make sure it's nice and tidy. Now there's two things you can do here. Some people, uh, just take your fingernail, some people like to push the ridge so it sits on the inside of the ring like that and that's quite good if you're doing a dorset button and you want it neat on both sides but these dorset poses are just um, one-sided because you'll have the working for your French knots showing through on the back so I like just to make sure that the ridge sits reasonably evenly around the back side of the ring and you can do this just by easing it in place with your thumbnails like I'm doing here <laughs> 